So in order to counter this belief in a uh, in the self, that the Buddha first gave teachings on impermanence. So this uh, so that counters this b belief in things as being uh, permanent. And so he taught that everything is uh, in impermanent. Everything is going to come to an end. Everything is going to be destroyed. Like, for example, that you have a, a gathering of people, and the people will gather here together. So there is this gathering, but eventually uh, it will. everyone will separate. Everyone will go away in their own direction. And you have a building. There's a building you built, but one day will come when, this, when the building is uh, like demolished. And in this way, everything is impermanent. And if one has that understanding of, of impermanence, then if there's something that one has a great deal of uh, attachment to, this uh, has a lot of this uh, you know, attachment to the self directed towards it, then um, when that is destroyed, one's suffering will be much less with the awareness of impermanence. But if one isn't aware of impermanence, and then when this thing is destroyed, then that can create a great suffering, great difficulty in suffering for the individual. So the first teaching, like for the beginner, or for the beginner level of beings, that the Buddha gave these teachings of impermanence.那为了要克服我们众生的一种执着呢佛陀在教导我们无常诸法无常有一天总是会有结束的时候总是会有毁坏的时候就像我们的去来到结合集会一样有开始的一个时候就总是有一个人去中人善的时候一个房子盖起来
Tambo, song you under Gala, maybe a double race, you know, you are some lot in the Gala, any Madaba, Tawa, any Madaba, so she's on the age. And so you think that like, the things are impermanent, like a dream, even this gathering here is like a dream. So it's like we have all grown together in this room, and Kimbo is giving his teachings, we are listening to him, and then we have a, like a discussion. And uh, but after a few hours, we we'll all go our separate ways and all go home. And uh, so that way, this is just like a uh, like a dream, and everything is like that. It's just a question of duration. It's just lasts of a few hours, but everything is has that same uh, nature. You know, one's uh, brothers, sisters, friends, family. In the end, it's just a question of time. But in the end, one becomes separated from them. It's. It's the nature of the world that soon, if, if one is born, one is going to die. Just like if one has a left hand, then one has a right hand. Same way, if you're going to be, if you're born, you're going to die soon. From the day you are born, then it says with each day, you're getting closer to your uh, death. So, it is with the Buddha on the his first teachings, first level of teachings, he taught karma, karmic causes and uh, results. And uh, uh, in terms of the uh, view that he taught, uh, the impermanence. Everyone 我来教导那么这就是这个世界的一个本质这个是一个 so some people think that you know impermanence is you know, unpleasant thing to talk about. Say so, you know it's best not to talk about uh, uh, impermanence. Best not to listen to teaching on impermanence or give a teaching on impermanence. But that's uh, not to study impermanence. But that's not correct that its uh, impermanence is at the very nature uh, of things you know everything separates comes to an end and so if the impermanence is taught if impermanence is learned and understood as it is the nature of things it is inevitable then uh, when these impermanence uh, occurs and when things come to an end then uh, this suffering will be less with that understanding. Now, you're saying, 
在这边，如果我们给予无常的教授的时候，当有一天事情结束，无常来临的时候，我们的痛苦就比较少。所以有这样子的阵地是重要的。对So then there's the second after that is in the text talks of this a uh, provisional uh, ultimate, this uh, in, uh, apparent or uh, uh, ultimate truth, which is that things have no reality and they are uh, empty, empty. So there is that uh, teaching. And uh, so this means, so it's not just seeing how things are impermanent, but then when one looks at these uh, aggregates, and one sees that they have uh, no you know, reality, and one sees that in the self and also in external uh, objects, that they have no real uh, nature of their own. And um, uh, so, and when, in that way, one has this understanding of emptiness, and this uh, uh, encounters, eliminates this belief in the self of uh, individual and of phenomena. So, you know, we can have some questions and a discussion about this, this attachment, this belief in itself. 那关于对执着跟这个呃认为自己是实有的这两这几点呢，我们可以拿出来做讨论，有没有什么疑问？Regarding the poisonous tree we talked about this morning, the relationship between the poisonous tree and us. If we truly rely on karma cause and effect, and then the, the, uh, if we don't have the path, karma in the past, then there is a tree, there is a me, the tree is not going to harm you because we don't have condition, the condition, the karma. Uh, established in the past. The same thing, if 
others do not have the establishment in the past, they won't be affected by the tree. So there could be a way of thinking that then we don't need to do anything because everything is dependent on karma. So if people have this type of understanding, what kind of faculty, what kind of uh, class are they? <laughs> So it seems to be mixed up like the example with what it's supposed to be you know, uh, an example of, but it's the meaning of the example is uh, in the example you have this poisonous tree which is harmful to every single being. Every being is going to be harmed by this tree. But what this tree is, is, is a like, symbol of, the meaning of that tree is the afflictions, the afflictions that are within oneself. That's what we are talking about, not, uh, we're not talking about some kind of actual existing tree. <laughs> it's, it's representing the afflictions that are in women beings. So it's for in terms of karma that what happens is, is, is there isn't a, like a creator, there's no one else who creates what happens. It's oneself. We create it through our own actions. So, uh, so if we do uh, uh, bad actions, uh, then there's going to be suffering, and it's true because we have the afflictions. The afflictions cause us to do bad actions, and the bad actions will result in suffering. So we, it's we who create it. Not no nobody else is responsible for for that. But it's not like we say, well, you know, we uh, our karma is already uh, being created in the past, so uh, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, whether it's going to be good that happens or bad that happens. Um, it's not like that because we, it's all up to us. So if we make the effort, like, uh, an individual can achieve you know, enlightenment in one lifetime by uh, applying themselves. So you know, somebody has no education and they apply themselves to study and then they become learned, they become educated. And that is a phase like the uh, calm and result of uh, one's uh, actions. So it's uh, it's we who you know it's we and our, our actions that create that create the results. This question, answer, two parts. First, I want to 
部分是说，呃，我想你可能跟我们所举的例子，跟例子所代表的意义是有点混淆的。我们早上讲的那个树的例子，它只是一个例子，并不是说真的有一棵那个树。那个毒素代表就是危害我们的烦恼等等。那这个是每一个人都会受到影响的这个毒素。后来在第二个层面呢，就是讲到业的层面来讲的话，有些人可能会就觉得说，哦，那这个有一个创世主，那事实上是没有一个创世主在那里的。业并不是说哪一个创世主造出来的，原无造化翁，群生自造化，这个业是我们自己造作出来的。那么如果说没有过去世的因，没有现在的果。那我们现在想要在一世得叫成就的话，我们必须在这一辈子非常的努力，透过各种的修行行持，才能够得到成就。那我们自己的修行呢，行持就是因，得到成就就是果，这个就是业。所以，当然，说到这边的，被看作就是我们当然啦，当然做本啦，帮咱用过来的有了。เดี๋ยวถือว่าดูงาถือว่าชุ่มอ่ะชาสังกี้ป้านจะจีบอะไรอยู่ตรงนี้ป้านจะโยนจะจีบอะไรสิสามีเนี่ยมันก็ป้านกันมาตัวข้าเจ้าก็สามีอยู่ถือว่าชุ่มตังดูกับสิเนี่ยมันมาเลยเด็กอาบิกับสิเนี่ยมันมาเลยสามีอยู่รึวะเด็กไม่มาเลยสิตาบอดคนเนี่ยมันเลยสิยังไงยังเด็กป้านจะเนี่ยมันเดี๋ยวป้านทับทุนเอาไปหน้าสบายสิคือตัวป้านกันเลยตรงเดี๋ยวสมัยเลย So the meaning of this morning's example is that there's the afflictions, and that is what we need to uh, get rid of, to eliminate. And um, so there are different methods for doing that. There's the, the tantra, sutra, hinayana, and so on. So all these different methods. But what they were wanting to counter, to eliminate, is the same. And uh, so some people would say, you know, the hinayana, mahayana, sutra yana, that there's the afflictions, uh, but in the path of the Tantra there aren't afflictions. So some people think that, but that's not the case, it's the same. It's just the afflictions that are being uh, encountered or eliminated in all of the yanas. Ponce可能种种不同，因种生的根器，因为你修行的方法或者是密续啊，或者是大圣小圣方法不同，那想要去必须要去执着烦恼的目的是相同的。那么，我们这个拿罗的，一定是我们不把它搞得这样啦。因
a poisonous tree. It's the same in all of the ianas. It's just there's different uh, methods of how, what to do with that, how to do, how, what to do with it. So, before有些事情是不可以做的不管你修的是哪一圣他有毒对人的危害就是都是一样的只是我们要怎么样去处理这颗毒素它的方法不同而已这个你的修行方法等于你处理的方式不同这并不影响说毒素是不是有毒这件事实这个看得是有的人呢你没有把父母拿来的你没有把父母拿来的你没有把父母拿来的你没有把父母拿来的你没有把父母拿来的你没有把父母拿来的你没有把父母拿来的你没有把父母拿来的你没有把父母拿来的